We're going to be using CapCut today to figure out how to enhance your social media presence through video editing, text overlay, and a couple of transitions and effects. So we're gonna go over all of the basics of CapCut to get you guys start editing and posting to your social media and keeping that engagement throughout the entire time. So let's get into it real quick. First thing I'm gonna do is pull up CapCut. And to get this onto your computer, what you're gonna to need to do is go to capcut.com and then log in with an email and once you're logged in you will click download now there's going to be a download for windows or for mac so pick which one is going to work for your computer uh, mine's a windows so i will click download for windows this will be a pop-up you just hit save but you want to make sure you know where you save that file location to because you're going to need to get back into it you're going to need to double click it to actually open up the program and install it onto your computer so once you open that up and follow the instructions to install it, you're gonna see this screen. On the left, you will have your media, your audio, and your text. There's other ones that we'll get into, but for now that's where we're gonna start at. So, so you can import your media through the program or you can open up your folder and drag in the video there. So this is the zip file that I sent out in the email. It's in the Google Drive if you need it, just send me an email and I will get it over to you. But I'm gonna take that whole folder and drag it in here. Um, but what I wanna do here is kind of organize my, my media. So I'm gonna call this video. So I'm going to select all of my footage that I have here and I'm gonna drag it in my timeline. Now you can do this one at a time if you wanna organize it, but since these are basically just B-roll clips, I'm gonna drag them all in and start going through them one by one. So I can start editing to a timeline. Now when I don't have a voiceover on my video, what I typically like to do is go to my audio, figure out a song that I like to start piecing my video together. So I'm gonna go over to audio, and we have music and we have sound effects. So I'm gonna go into music and I'm gonna pick one of these audio. So I'm gonna do piece and I'm gonna drag it into the timeline. So you have your wave format here so you can see the peaks of the song where it goes up and down. Um, this doesn't really help me when I'm trying to get to the beat of the song. So what CapCut has inside of it up next to this split clip button, you can see that there is a auto beat and that's this button right here. We're gonna click it and we're gonna go beat one. Beat one is going to show you the um, times where the song hits a beat, so wherever the bass is, and you'll see it by these little yellow dots at the bottom. Now, if you have more cuts and you want things to be a little bit faster, you go to the same place, auto beat, and you hit beats two. Now it basically doubles or triples the beats where you can split clips at. So for simplicity reasons, I'm gonna go to beat one and just to see where it hits on uh, the song. So if I play this through, I'm gonna take the clip right after she brushes her face. So on my keyboard, I'm gonna click B. It's a shortcut to get me to this slice tool. You can use the slice tool or you can use the split clip button up where my player is. I'm gonna scrub through and go right after the weird tongue thing she does. And I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna press A to go back to my normal cursor function. So I can just select the clip without splicing it. Okay, so it looks like that will probably be enough right there. Now you don't have to hit every beat, as long as you do it every one or two or three and you're staying on that same tempo, um, that will work just fine. So let's go back and grab another clip or two from our timeline here. All right, it sounds like there's some music on the back of this, so I'm going to select all of these clips up here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna separate the audio so we don't get an overlay. I'm gonna go to where it separated the audio and delete them, so now these clips are muted and they're only we're only going to hear the piece song. Okay, so this is going to be where we start adding our transitions in. So. Up at the top where we're in media, we can go over to effects. And this gleam effect looks pretty good. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna just adjust some of these overlays. I'm gonna turn these down. You can see her necklace, anywhere there's light, uh, the gleam effect is gonna just overexpose that and make it really exaggerated. So I'm gonna turn all of these like down a lot. And then I'm going to click on this clip and I'm gonna do just a fade out 
fade in transition from her to the car. So I'm, I'll go to video and we're gonna head over to animation. So I'm gonna go to animation. I'm gonna go out because this is gonna be an out effect for this clip. I'll select fade out and you can see that it just fades it out. And then I'm gonna select on the, the car clip and I'm gonna do the same thing. Animation in, fade in. Um, with just a slight dip to black and then back in. Now we're gonna keep playing it on the beat. This is a um, woman stepping out of a car, but we're gonna zoom out to show the skyline. So I'm gonna go up to my transitions folder and I'm gonna do a pull out transition here. So this is a pull out and I'm gonna just put it right in between those clips. You'll see that it pulls out to the skyline and since the camera is already backing away from the skyline, it's pretty smooth as it goes into that transition. So at the top again, you're gonna have your text. Um, you can click on default text and it'll bring in a layer of just regular text in a normal font. Or we can go to text templates and we can see what one that we like here that would go well with this video. So if the templates don't have anything that you like, we can start from scratch. So I'll go to add text, add a default text. And I'm gonna drag it in right where that cut happens. And I want it to be right where the bedroom comes in. So I'm going to click on this default text and I can edit it up in the top right with this text box. Like I said before, when you select a clip, you're going to have only the effects and animations for that selected clip. So we're going to select that text and we're going to go over to animations and we're going to find um, a way to bring this in. So I think I'm just going to do a, a quick fade in. And then I want to find um, some effects for my text to make this pop more. So let's do a glow effect. So this one looks really nice. So now that we have that glow effect on the background, let's see how this transition looks on the zoom. Perfect. So now I have luxury condominiums pop up here and uh, we can continue on with our edits. We're going to go into how to color correct some of our shots so we're going to move our scrubber to this bed and it looks like it's been color corrected but we can do a little bit more so we'll select the clip and we'll go into adjustments and we're just going to play around with if we need to make it brighter if we want more contrast to make those colors pop um the rest of the stuff you can play around with going back and forth these are under your basic edits your hsl is going to be hue saturation and luma so you can use these for your different specific colors. So we looks like we have some orange in here um, on the bed sheets. So I'll show you hue. If you want to turn that more yellow or if you want to turn that more red, you can. Saturation is going to increase that intensity or decrease it. Uh, the decrease actually looks pretty good. But we're just going to turn, turn it down a little bit so it's not so orange. And then the brightness is going to do the same thing. Um, you can see that it only affects what is orange. So let's look at this piece right here. This bottom piece is more orange, this top piece is more brown black. So when I change the brightness, you can see that the top basically stays relatively the same and the bottom piece of this blanket is really changing. So I don't want too much contrast with that. Um, I'm just gonna bring it down and make them look like it's a little more blendy. That is the end to the beginner tutorial of CapCut. If you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below or post them in our marketing circles in the pit stop. I'm sure a lot of people have the same questions as you, so that would be very helpful. I want you guys to spend a little bit of time playing around in the program. You can download the zip file and use those as practice, or you can bring in your own content and start working on a video that you might actually want to post for social media. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be coming out with some more videos about CapCut, specific tutorials to demonstrate some of the higher power features that it has inside of it, just to add some more creativity to your videos.